Welcome back to Free State Raceway in Laurel, Maryland, where we will see the Breeders' Crown race for older pacers just ahead. On the road again is one of the big stories of the night. He is the richest pacer of all time, the richest North American standard bred ever, and one of the people who's enjoyed his success, certainly as his owner. Kenny Wright spoke with Gordon Rumpel this evening. I'm in the paddock area with a man who is living every horseman's dream, Gordon Rumpel paid $10,000 for a horse name on the road again as a yearling. He is now the winningest standard bred of all time in excess of $2.4 million. And I guess because of that, Gordon, people out here along the rail can relate to on the road again maybe as much as any horse has come down the pike in a long time. Yeah, I think that's true. I think that, you know, people relate to road because pretty much anybody in the stands could afford to, to own them themselves. Yeah, I only paid $10,000 for him, and he's just been a tremendous horse for us. Another thing that On the Road has done, he has been appropriately named. He's traveled everywhere in North America on any type track against any competition. And it has not been a matter of going out necessarily and getting speed. He has a 151 and 4 mark that he turned in the U.S. pacing. But you've never gone after the time trials, always the races. Well, I've always felt that, uh, that uh, a good racehorse should, should, should appear on all size tracks, should, should race everywhere, and take on anybody who, who was willing to race against them. And so consequently, we've, we've shipped road across Canada and and across the United States, and we've raced in pretty near every major stake race that we could possibly enter. And uh, that's one of the reasons that we've done it. Uh, I uh, have always felt that uh, the amount of money that a horse earns uh, uh, is an indication of how tough he is, and I thought that's what this sport was all about. Now, because of the money that he has earned again this year and because of the racing success he has had, is on the road again, you feel, the horse of the year? Uh, I don't know. I'm not... Uh, uh, I think that that's up to a, voider, a voter's choice. Uh, I think that uh, the road is uh, deserving of it myself personally, but uh, voters are, are voters, and, and uh, they see it any way they want to see it. I, I think the horse speaks for himself. Since the World Cup Series at the Meadowlands, a lot of people have been talking about Annihilator on the road again matchup. Do you foresee that? Uh, I don't know. I, I, uh, it's possible. I don't know if it'll ever come about or not. Uh, it, it could possibly happen maybe in December sometime over at Garden State, but I, I, I don't, uh, uh, it's not a race that I'm saying it's gonna happen. It's, uh, it's a possibility, but it, it could be quite improbable too. Would you like to see it happen? Uh, uh, it, it really don't make any difference to me if, 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 there's a, if the purse is large enough and the race is there and uh, we're able to get there and my horse is sound, well, uh, we'll come and race like we have every other time. And I know after this, it's back to Western Canada, right? You'd like to take him home for one race at least each year. Yes, we're, we're uh, shipping out tomorrow night for uh, Toronto and then shipping to Western Canada for the Stuart Fraser uh, in Edmonton. Uh, it starts on the 5th of uh, October and finishes up on the 12th. And then we'll be back down to New York to race in the Challenge Cup in New York at Yonkers Raceway. Gordon Rumpel, thanks very much for your time. Good luck tonight with On the Road again as he goes after yet another victory here in the Breeders' Crown Series this time. Thank you very much.